Hello, it's Amanda from IDPN, the ID Photographer Network. Today we're going to show you how to make an image sepia by using the duotone function of Photoshop. So we'll get started. So the first thing we need to do is to take our image and convert it to grayscale by going to Image, Mode, Grayscale. Then we're going to go back up to the mode and change it to duotone. So Image, Mode, Duotone. Now when we open the duotone window, it's going to be a monotone. So we're going to change this panel here to duotone. This gives us another color of ink to work with. So if we click on the white ink, we can choose a different color for our sepia. So you could do something very bright or something very subtle. It's it's really up to you what you like for your do what you like for your sepia. If you choose something gray, however, it's going to affect the density of the image. So I'd like to kind of stay up here towards this top line. Click OK. Now you can also affect the curves of that ink by clicking on this diagonal line here. This allows you to decide if you want more of the ink to show in the lights, for example, and less in the darks, that sort of thing. So once you have your duotone the way that you like it, you can save it as a preset up here. So it's there for later if you choose. Oh, and it wants us to pick a name. I don't know why, but we're going to call it Peach. Okay, so now we have our duotone. Um, however, you also need to reconvert your image to RGB by changing its mode. So we're going to go back to Image, Mode, and we're going to go down to RGB Color. Often, printing co companies can't read an image in JPEG that is in duotone mode. Changing it back to RGB before you save it means that you can print or upload the image anywhere. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something, and be sure to check back the rest of our videos by subscribing to our channel or visiting our resource library in the blog listed in the description below. Thank you again from IDPN, the IDU Photographer Network, at www.idufotonet.com.